Today we're checking out the most hated Mortal Kombat character, and his name is Su Hao. Even the game developers themselves hate this guy, and I'm not joking. They actually tried to keep him out of Armageddon. You know, the game that has every character. And yet, they still tried to keep Su Hao away. But is his gameplay bad though? Even if he is a severed head in Aaron Black's intro, that doesn't mean that his gameplay sucks, does it? Well today, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna play the worst Mortal Kombat character so that you don't have to. I'm honestly really excited. I have a soft spot for unloved characters. Why do you think Ferator is one of my favorite characters to ever exist? And for the opponent, we have to pick Jax. I mean, come on, he kills Su Hao in his arcade ending. So we gotta pick Jax as the opponent. He's gotta be the training dummy. I also low-key wanna make a video on Katana in this game. So let me know in the comments if you would enjoy that. Okay, here we go, the stance. This is one of the goofiest stances I've ever seen. He's a mime. He's miming against the camera, look at it. He's doing the invisible wall trick. Freaking look at him. All right, first up, we gotta check out the special moves. Okay, Cyrus Stomp and Khan Slam. Slap. He's a Khan? No, he's definitely not, but he is Mongolian, so I guess he just had to slap Khan somewhere in his move list. Okay, these inputs are pretty easy. The Khan slap is actually pretty dope. I love how this move looks. Check it out. Boom! The Incredible Hulk. Look at this thing. What's the range on that? Oh, it's almost full screen? Not quite full screen, but the wind goes all the way across the screen, and if landed closer, it knocks them down. That's kind of cool, so depending on where you hit it, it has different effects, and it wall splats. That's pretty scary, but from far away, it doesn't knock down. It just staggers. I find that interesting. All right, then we have Cyrus Stomp. Are you kidding me? It's a Shiva Stomp? He's a freaking Shokan? He is a Khan after all. He's just a Shokan warrior. Let's go. He has the Shiva Stomp. That's nuts. Does it track? No, it just goes really, really far. Can it cross over the opponent if you're close? It absolutely can. That's hilarious. And look at the recovery on that thing. Look how long it takes me to block if you miss this move. That is absolutely insane. That's so funny. Look at the recovery. Watch again. Yeah, a year later, I can finally block. That's awesome. Real quick, what's his throw look like? Are you serious? He just grabs their feet and tosses them? Can you combo that? I, it looks like you can, but I don't think so. Huh, I guess not. You can't get a combo there. It sure seems like the game wants you to, but I guess we don't get that until Deception. No, that was a combo. That was absolutely a combo. But it only works in the corner, it seems like, because otherwise you can't reach him. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Can you sweep him? No, it's not a combo. I, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. And then, whoa, he's got a back handspring. So back and throw does a back handspring. That's pretty cool. I'm liking this guy so far. I'm not gonna lie. The Hulk clap, definitely a top 10 move. All right, but now it's time for the attacks and strings. First off, we're in the Shui Chao stance. I am sorry in advance if I mispronounce any of this. He's got a lot of single hits in this build. A lot of single attacks. So triangle. That's so goofy. I love this game so much. It's so silly. That's forward triangle. Okay, back triangle. Same thing. Down triangle. Ooh, whoa, whoa! Big overhead chop. Big overhead. Okay, forward square. Oh, he's got a combo. Oh, square, square, triangle. Let's go. He's got a combo. It's back square. D down square. Ooh, dick check. Dick check. <laughs> Vibe check, baby. That's funny. Okay, got a classic sweep. That makes sense. Oh, big knee. Big knee attack. And that's it for that. Oh, wow. They land on their feet. What the heck? He kicks you so hard you land with perfect form? What's the idea behind this move? I don't understand what the idea was behind this animation. Why would they land on their feet? Like, what's the deal with that? <laughs> hmm, not very many kicks in this build. A very simple stance, that's for sure. Very basic. Nothing too crazy. Is there a single attack string? Oh, there are. There's actually quite a lot. Watch this. <laughs> From Johnny Cage himself in MK9. Watch this. Okay, I'm down for these. I want to try this real quick. So, we have triangle, triangle. I like that double uppercut. I like it. Pretty cool. Oh, big little gut check. Fixing your colon, rearranging your guts with that move. Goodness me. I think this one is still my favorite. I just love how they land on their feet. That'll never stop being funny to me. And we're actually already done with this dance, so let's transition with a combo string. Yeah, now we're in the wrestling stance. Now, from what I remember, this might actually be a very overpowered stance in this game. I think this move, for sure, is the most broken. And they gave it to Meat in Armageddon, but for Meat in that game, it's an infinite. And I'm not kidding. Is it an infinite here? It might be. It might actually be an infinite, because to anyone not aware, there's no way to escape this throw. You can't break it, and you can't sidestep it or block it either. So the only way out would be to attack, but I don't think there's enough time. This might actually be an infinite. Like, legitimately. Now, to be fair, he does step backward, so you do need, like, the perfect angle to make it an infinite. 
but I don't think the opponent can escape that follow-up. I think it's guaranteed. Like, what can they do there? No attack is fast enough, is it? Let me know in the comments. That seems like an infinite. And Armageddon, it absolutely is. And he also has a back throw, too. I'm not sure if it's unblockable, though. There's no way to make the AI block in this game for you, so I can't test if these are actual command grabs or just hit throws. But no matter what the case may be, I love the animation. It's a really cool animation, man. I really do like that one stance is just command grabs. It's pretty sick. Wow, nosebleed? That's insane. Forward triangle, back triangle, down triangle, X. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh wow, are you kidding me? He has the Russian dance? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. This dance is somehow more basic than the first one, and that's crazy. Wait, are his throws different in this one? Insanity. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty insane right now. Oh, he's got a parry. He has an actual parry in this variation, or this stance. That's pretty crazy. I like that a lot. But yeah, this command grab may actually be broken. Really, really good. And the animation on this one, I love it. I'm not gonna lie, so far this character is pretty dope. And check this out, the weapon variation. Even players who hate Su Hao have to admit that his weapons are really, really cool. The Sun Moon, baby. Once again, though, the inputs are really basic. This character does not have much to him. Like, not much at all. Square, forward square, back square. Oh, that's cool. Everyone likes that, that looks cool. Triangle, oh, it's a launcher? Cool. Can you do three? Yep, then they knock out. That's so funny. Circle. Oh, wow, big eye stab. That's crazy. Oh, that's cool. I like the crouching circle. It's a big little overhead. That's cool. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So here's one of the combos I saw. Hmm, gotta go back. My memory is not very good. I'm like Dory the Fish in Finding Nemo. It is circle forward X. Okay. Oh, very similar to the other one, honestly. I'm a bit disappointed. It looks almost identical to this, which I guess makes sense. They share animations, but I'm still a bit disappointed that it's that. Um, okay, the last one was back square triangle, I think. Yeah, that's the string that everyone loves. Everyone, even haters, love this move. They're jealous of Su Hao for having this amazing string. It looks so cool. So I'm guessing you could launch with this. Oh, gotta hold back, that's right. I mean, that's a pretty cool combo. Leave a like down below for that combo. That was pretty cool that he can do that. I like it. It's a cool looking move. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. Launch, launch, boom. <laughs> I like Su Hao. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this goofiness. I think it's cool. Admittedly though, he is very, very basic. There's not much to talk about with this character. I think I've pretty much covered everything he can do already, which is insane. Like there's nothing else left for the sun moon. And there's the specials ready to that. Did he have a long string for the wrestling? He doesn't. He's one of the few characters whose second stance does not combo into his weapon stance. That's crazy. So if you want to go into his weapon stance, you have to start in his very first stance and then work your way all the way there. Because this combo takes you through all three stances. So that's pretty crazy. It's not hard to do, honestly. I could probably do this. It's just back triangle stance and then back triangle again. I could probably do that. Let's see. Hey, there we go, first try. 37%, that was pretty flashy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of Su Hao. I think his attacks are pretty fun and he does have a lot of potential, but for Pete's sake, if he does come back, make sure that chest laser is not just a fatality. I want it to be a special move as well and put it in his strings too. Make that chest laser do work. It's one of the only iconic things about his design, so make it do a lot of cool stuff in the next game. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can't throw in the weapon stance and you can't even impale the opponent either. Some characters in this game can impale the opponent and cause permanent bleed for the entire round, Su Hao can't even do that, and he also doesn't have a throw in the weapon stance either, so pretty weak, honestly. Pretty lacking. I'm still a big fan of this string, though. I love it. It's so dang cool. It's one of my favorite strings in the game, I think. It's really cool. I love the effect, by the way. When I was a kid, stuff like this blew my mind. The weapon streaks were so cool. Very Soul Calibur. Outside of that, though, he's not super interesting. I still think if he came back, he could be cool. Make him a dedicated grappler, give him a lot of chest laser attacks. Make sure he keeps this move, because it's absolutely amazing. And the stomp, too. Why not? It's also pretty dang cool. I like it. But yeah, there's Su Hao, the most hated character in Mortal Kombat, though I don't think that's due to his gameplay per se. I think people hate his design, and especially the uh, more offensive aspects of his design, like how he's a caricature of Asian people. His skin's even yellow for Pete's sake. His skin is yellow. That's going a bit too far, I think. In fact, even in the Mortal Kombat X comics, his skin is still yellow, and they gave him buck teeth. Why'd they do that? They gave him big old chompers. I think that's the main reason people don't like Su Hao, is he's kind of a stereotype and an offensive one at that. And the fact that he dies in the same game that he's 
introduced doesn't make things any better, does it? Kind of lame to die in your debut, but then again, so did Lee May, and people love Lee May. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you like it if Sue Howe made a return? Because I personally would, but you all know me. I love an underdog, all right? I want the hated characters to come back and get redeemed. But once again, tell me your thoughts, and then while you're down there, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel out a ton. Then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell, that way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.